Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and uh, first off apologies that this is the first video I've had up uh, in a short while. I didn't plan on necessarily taking a break but um, I felt like I really need needed it this week. I have been suffering a little bit physically with some uh, stomach issues and some migraines and that kind of led to a bit of depression, which can happen, you know, when you're in a lot of physical discomfort. So I thought I'd just take a few days to myself before I started recording anything again. Otherwise, the problem the problem I find is that, you know, if I record a video when I'm not in the mood, it turns out to be pretty terrible. I'm not really into the reaction. I'm not really into the episode. So I'd rather have waited um, and just, you know, get back to it when I was good to go. And now I am very good to go. Um... So, yes, Hunter Hunter. It's been um, a couple of weeks since I watched an episode, but the last episode I did watch was pretty fantastic. Um, we saw the um, the Morel fight with, uh, I think it was, um, was it Nov? I think his name is the Lion. The Lion Dude, um, which is basically, um, that's that, that's how I know him. I know him as the Lion Dude, so yeah, don't don't judge me on that. Um, but yeah, it was a really interesting fight. Uh, we saw obviously a lot of um, we saw a lot of different kind of strategies. We we weren't sure as to who exactly was going to prevail. Although I had a sneaking suspicion that you know um, Morel was always in control, and you know we saw that he is able to breathe underwater for a hell of a long time, and he used that to his advantage uh, because he literally used uh, his smoke effect to drain all of the oxygen out of the uh, theater, pump a load of carbon dioxide in, and essentially suffocated um, uh, Leo, Leold, I think, isn't it? Leo, Leold, something, something they've given him an L. The lion dude, he suffocated the lion dude. Um, and it was a really interesting fight. We've got Palm, who is inside the palace, and um, she is facing the same sort of, it's, it's a weird kind of, Terra aura, um, you know, and this time it's reached her, so we, we don't really know what's going on there, but she is, she's in a bad way, um, so it's going to be interesting to see where that turns up, and we saw Kilua for the first time, um, yeah, we saw Kilua for um, the first time in quite a while, and um, he's recovering, and, you know, his friend is, is, the squid friend is alongside him and they're both getting ready to rejoin the fight. So we're getting very close, I think, to a showdown between um, at least some of the hunters and some of the royal guard. And then eventually the big fight with, you know, the king. And uh, that is going to be very interesting. So, yeah, we're going to jump right into this. Uh, before we do, I want to say a big thank you to Frank Tremel and The Lone Detective for being our Patreon super supporters for today. Thank you very much for your support, guys. Um... Yeah, let's jump into it and let's see what happens next. I mean, does the king really want to win because she was tired? That doesn't seem like the way that you'd want to do it. Time Ugh. for a break. We will resume in half a day. Huh? Oh. But I can keep playing if you want me to. I would take no joy in defeating you while you're in this weakened state. Yeah, he doesn't want to. He wants to beat her at full strength. He is, if nothing else, an honorable. He's not a man. Even while his arm was being thing, the king never stopped playing. No. Don't you do it? He will murder you if you kill her. Well, if there's nothing else, then I'll be going now. Oh, he had to stop himself. I mustn't be hasty. The king went back on his word, so that he could remain true to his creed. Her death would only cement her status as someone whom the king was never able to best. It's been a bit dramatic. Jesus. I'm such a fool. Yeah. You know what? You should kill yourself for your insobedience. Yeah, take that and shove it down your throat. Or through your chest. Or dance yourself to death. That's a good way to die. Somebody say it. To protect the king with their lives. They'll be in a tight formation. Breaking it. Oh, look at the chippy versions. 
That's so cute. That's where I come into play. Mm. In that case, it's pretty safe to say the enemy knows our plan by now. And that would make us just like moths, flying straight into the heart of a burning flame. We would be dead on arrival. But instead of worrying about a bunch of worst case scenarios, let's trust Palm to do yep. whatever she has Focus to on the plan going right. Well, that makes sense if you ask me. But I think what Gon is trying to say here is that if Palm really has met such a fate, we still have time to change the plan. I won't say it again. Those petty decisions are yours to make, understand? Shit. Go away and wait until I summon you. <laughs> so, you were chased out too. We just need to wait for the king to win and it'll be fine. You think it'll only be a couple more matches till he does that, right? Nope. What? A minute ago you said you did. What changed your mind? The king is improving at a remarkable rate. But she is evolving as well. She's learning how to counter so his no able to predict the changes in strategy. Unfortunately, hmm. I can't leave my post yet. <laughs> Why is she so cute yet let deadly and evil? I I uh It's just it's confusing. To enter the capital. The enemy should have noticed Moral's distraction by now and started reacting to it. Hmm. In fact, I find this enjoyable. She's giving him just enough room to be a challenge. Play. But that only goes to show that she is still far above me. In She's still controlling the game. How much stronger will she get? Dear leader, I feel. I feel. Weird. What? Bubbles? Nen bubbles? It just isn't stopping. Oh shit! No matter what I do, all these wonderful moves keep flooding into my head. It's Nen. That's her power. Oh shit! She's awakened. Did she know about this? She's about to get stronger. Oh, fuck. That changes things quite a bit. Oh, nice 3D animation That's there. Checkmate. Every move she's ever played. That is crazy. You're excused. Thank you. A foolish question. Her name. Hey. Your name. What should I call you by? You mean me, Sire? Is there anyone else here? <laughs> um, my name is Komogi, dear leader. Komo Komogi, huh? Komogi. <laughs> dear leader, if it isn't too forward of me to ask, I wonder if you'd mind telling me your name. He doesn't have a name. He is simply known my as name? the king. Oh. What? You don't have a name. She's giving him an existential crisis. Is anything the matter, sire? Poof. That's what right. name. You are known as Poof. That name, man. Hmm. So then tell me, what is my name? With all due respect, your highness, you are the king. You have no other name. You are the one and only king. At the moment, there are imposters who claim to be king. It is our duty to eliminate them. What's he gonna call himself? You can choose a name after the sorting is complete. For the time being, our top priority he is. He can choose a name whenever he damn well wants. He is the king. Morning. Is something wrong, sire? If you have any concerns, we will happily address them. That is why we're here, after Poof all. is gonna die, I think. Kogi's entire body was bathed in a blinding light. Sire, please. After meeting Komogi, I've learned strength can manifest in different ways. Ooh. Is he gonna For stop example, the sorting? Our trip here. Please, sire. You must stop this. I ended a child's life. Sire, you mustn't say it. 
It's possible that the child please, could have grown up. Becoming of you. Possessed the raw potential yeah. to surpass me in a particular field. The king must be absolute. Is he lending I compassion? It. Do not repent your actions. I had no real reason, not a single one. That's enough, sire. You mustn't say anymore. Oh, he's gonna die. I am king. Oh shit. That's a hell of an aura. <laughs> Why? I jumped to the wrong conclusion and came within a hair's breadth of insulting the king. I foolishly believed that his highness regretted his actions, something that no ruler should ever do. Your problem is that you're always thinking too much, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do believe you have a point. Think you. like muscle dum dum. Not at all. First arrived here. She's worthless to me. Let's kill her right now. He's gonna hesitate. Oh shit! Why is that eagle attacking her? Oh! What the fuck? Thank you very much, dear leader. Why didn't you call for help? Look here. And here, there's blood all over you. Are you concerned? Damn, I don't believe it. She's such a fragile creature. Because it's so early. People might still be sleeping and I didn't want to bother them. Huh. But you wouldn't have bothered anyone at all. What? You could almost think that he was a concerned parent. You are a guest of the king. What am I saying? I came here to kill her. Yeah. Didn't I? Oh, don't cry. <laughs> if he Why hugs her, I? I'm out. Why couldn't I do it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If this had no one's ever been this nice to me before. Okay, let's discuss that very interesting episode of Hunter Hunter, which did not go the way that I expected at all. And has opened up so many new possibilities going forward that it's quite exciting because the king, for all of his kind of emotionless, um, ritualistic, sadistic personality traits, I never imagined him like caring about a name, caring about another being, um, or hesitating. And that's exactly what happened here. Um, for the first time, he's had an existential crisis. He has had an identity crisis. He doesn't know who he is. He is the king. But does that... I mean, he doesn't have a name. He said king is a title. And I think he, for the first time, was doubting his own power. You know, he, he even said, when uh, Poof talked about there being other false kings... He even said, who's to say that they would be able to defeat those other kings? And that moment went so far beyond what I expected. I was expecting him to um, have some kind of emotional breakdown when he was thinking about the kid that he killed and the potential that was wasted. In the same way that I think Poof was thinking that. He was thinking that he was regretting his actions, he was developing compassion, and Poof was a whiskers hair away of saying something and probably dying. Um, and I was of the exact same mind, just obviously my reaction wasn't going to be the same as his. I, I wanted to encourage that kind of compassion and redemption. But um, it went the opposite way. He embraced it. He embraced the power that he has. Um, the power to take life, the power to be violent. And um, the aura that he shed was unlike any aura we've seen so far. Um and then, just as you think he has hit this rampant kind of violent streak as he's going to go on a killing spree, he again turns around and, and has another existential crisis when he finds her being attacked by a bird and then crying. The idea that he is the nicest person she's ever met or the person who's treated her the nicest is quite scary. Um, but I absolutely love the development there for the king. I now am not sure what his path is. I, I could totally see him becoming a redeemed character. 
And how amazing would that be if the king, who has done nothing but be evil and um, emotionless, becomes good? And you know, I don't think it will go that way. But the fact that they're teasing it is is pretty is pretty cool. Um, again, I I just I, I like the idea of characters not being one dimensional, and the king is definitely not one dimensional after that episode. Um, and I can definitely, you know, I can see something happening here that will cause maybe one or all of his royal guards to become disillusioned. I mean, certainly, um, Pito de- doesn't seem as bothered about um, the king's mental state as Poof does. I mean, Poof is obsessed with the king, you know, being the, the best in the world and, you know, obviously ruling supreme and not regretting any of his actions. Um, but I think the other two are a little bit more laid back just because they, they don't think about those things. Um, so, you know, I think Poof realistically would have died in that episode if he'd said something wrong. I mean, we've seen him almost die a couple of times now by the king's hand. Um, but we've still got this, I mean, we've got the sorting coming up next and we've got the plan with the hunters that are coming into action. And um, it's all just so exciting. It's that's added so many new layers and so many different elements to to the king's character now. And I cannot wait to learn more about what he's going to do next and how these feelings develop. Um, the fact that she's got an aura and she's got Nen, and that Nen is helping her win, is really interesting. I mean, he thinks it's just a game. You know, the head Nen just helps her with a game, and yeah, that's definitely true. But what is her actual power? Could it be expanded to something else? Is it strategic planning? Um, she could be an ultimate strategist. That could be her name power, is the power of strategy. That would be pretty cool. Um, but I'm guessing it's something that we'll see develop as time goes on. So yeah, I can't wait to watch the next episode. But um, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you for the next episode.